Welcome Libra and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind time is fluid so whenever you view this it could represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you and even if it does be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. For Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus please Spirit. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And keep an open mind. Your soul might may differ from your usual type and expectation. Maybe some of you, I don't want to say you're picky, but maybe you have uh, really high expectations. And I feel like that's justified, of course. You know, you should be with someone who checks all your boxes. But maybe some of you are like kind of overlooking someone. Or they may have been like overlooking you, possibly. Maybe this is someone who's like been a friend to you for a long time and they, you don't know how you feel about each other. Maybe this wasn't the person you expected to fall in love with. Maybe this person's not tr your traditional type or something like that. There's like a difference here. I Honestly, I really want to say you're finding love in a best friend. Like you weren't expecting to fall in love with this person. Like maybe you always had a thing for, you know blonde girls and this person has really dark hair or maybe you really like tall guys and this guy is kind of short or you know maybe you like into intellectual type but this person's like really masculine and works with their hands right uh, i don't know like something about this situation it's like not what you expected and you're finding you're finding everything you wanted in this person all right libra sun moon rising and venus in love and in life what needs to be known Seen and understood here for Libra. All right, your energy at the top, theirs at the bottom, but it could be flipped or reversed. We have the Empress, the Ace of Ooh, the King of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. My, my. Okay, we have the Five of Swords and the Magician. Ooh, okay. Two of Pentacles. The Chariot, Judgment, the Emperor, the Emperor and Empress here, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. Under the deck here we have the Nine of Wands. So somebody could be planning something secretly. I kind of want to say this, and again, this is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. I kind of want to say there could be a situation here where... Like, let's say you fall in love with this person, but, like, you know that your family won't approve because of X, Y, or Z. Maybe they've been married before and divorced. Maybe they already have kids. Maybe they're a lot older than you. Maybe you guys work together. It's, like, whatever this is, like, it's all between the two of you. Like, there's something really incredibly passionate and beautiful here, but there's some anxiety about this beginning with each other. Like, you both want to manifest this, but you feel like you may have to cut off people out of your life. And I don't know why this is coming to me, but this could be for, like, one person out there, okay? Like, let's say that, you know, you have, like, a best friend, but, like, you guys are, like, it's, like, you and, like, two best friends, and, like, the three of you are, like, best friends together. Well, let's just say, like, there's a girl, and there's, like, two guys, and, like, you guys are all best friends, okay? This is just probably for, like, one person, okay? You may have fallen in love with one of those people, but, like, the other person is, like, jealous or something, and you know it's going to cause problems because this you know that this person likes you, but you really are in love with this other person, or, like, their best, or, the, or the person that you've fallen in love with, their best friend likes you or something. It's, like, something like that where, like, you know it's going to hurt somebody when the two of you are together. And that's just, again, not for all of you, but that was important. Spirit needed that to be known. All right, so starting here in your energy and again just flip if it's reversed okay we have the empress so taurus libra energy with the ace of wands and with this kind of energy i really do need to say this and again this is not for every single one of you okay some of you could end up getting pregnant so please be careful if you're not trying to conceive a child okay um or some of you could already have children with this person the empress see she's pregnant here okay which is symbolic of a new beginning it's symbolic of growth these are two very powerful cards about creation there's something beginning here it's kind of like that fuse has been ignited you know ace of wands very phallic card and clearly you know she's with child here so i just want to put this out there for somebody out here please be careful if you're not trying to conceive okay 
Um, but the, this is about something new. It's about protecting something, growing something. You want this. There's a lot of attraction, a lot of fire, a lot of passion. Some of you could already have children. You could be very, um, protective over your children or they could, you know, because this feels very new. Like it feels like exciting. It feels like new. It feels like, you know, it's been a long time coming. Like finally someone's kind of coming who's made you excited. And I feel like you haven't been excited about anything in a long time. Um, with the King of Pentacles, here you could be doing the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Two of Wands. You're thinking about the future. The kind of person, you know, that you want to build a life with. Someone that you could have stability, commitment with. Think planning, okay? Cross-watching tarot readings, you know, searching for answers, searching for truth. This can be consulting the magic eight ball. This can be picking flowers. He loves me, he loves me not kind of thing with this kind of card. This is about future prediction. It's thinking about the future. You know, what's your stability going to look like? What's, what is your future going to be like with this person, right? Some of you could be wondering, you know, and I want to say this for my ladies out there, if you already have children, okay, you could be wondering, is this man the kind of man who's going to be responsible and, you know, that I want my children to, to be potentially raised by, you know, if things progress for the two of us. Guys out there, again, vice versa could be, okay, but I feel strongly some of my ladies out there really needed to hear that message. You know, you're wondering, is this person going to be someone that I could build a life with, a future with, you know, because you could, you could be very protective of like your family. And guys, you could absolutely feel the same way, but I do get more feminine energy. So I feel like majority is probably for the women out here. But I feel like it's being very cautious, very guarded. You know, it's like, can I build with this person? What is that going to look like? What if I open the door for this and, you know, I get stabbed in the back? Because maybe you've been deceived a lot in the past. Maybe you've been hurt a lot. Maybe you've recently left a situation. I don't know why I'm getting this for some of you. Some of you actually could have like an ex-husband or something or an ex-wife or something that was not was unhealthy, you left that behind. You also, I want to say this, some of you actually could be very nervous that, you know, an ex of yours is going to try to intervene if they see you move on with someone else. Especially if you already have children. Like, you guys are, you're, you're opening the door for something new. We have Gemini energy here with the magician. It can also be Virgo. Um, but the magician, it's it's creating something new. It's finally opened the door of opportunity. It's like it's like it's been there. It's time to step through that door. It's like instead of waiting in the hallway for things to kind of become to me, it's like deciding to take a risk on something, moving to something more exciting. You know, you've you've called this opportunity in. I kind of feel like I don't know why I'm getting such specific messages for you guys, Libra. I kind of feel like for some of you. This could be like your husband's best friend or your bro brother's best friend or something about like someone who you're not supposed to be with. Maybe this person's married. Maybe you're still married. I don't know. But it feels like there's this strong thing about your friends above anything else. And that's what makes things so difficult here because you both want this. You both want to be together. The obstacles have been difficult, but there's, some, so, there's something growing between the two of you. It's giving you both a lot of anxiety and fear, but you still want to try it. It's like you don't want to just walk away from this. You know, it's like you've called this opportunity and you've wanted to be together. There's this strong energy here. Like some of you could be finding out you're pregnant or something. There's something starting here. Look at that. The magician, the empress, the ace of wands. This is about creation. Something is starting here. It's very powerful. And their energy with the two of pentacles and the chariot. So they're making a decision here to move towards you. I feel like there's a little bit of hesitation here, but I do feel like they're coming towards you. Cancerian energy. This person's thought long and hard about this decision. They are, they're facing judgment day. Okay. They realize it. A choice has to be made. They can't keep postponing this. It doesn't matter what people are going to say about this. Maybe they're going to lose friends. Maybe they're going to have to walk away from a current partnership or they know that you will. You know, but this person, they are choosing to move towards you. They want to protect the relationship with you. They, some of them, even if, if you're finding out that if one of you guys are find out that you're actually pregnant or something, they are choosing to protect this relationship with you. And it's like they don't really care what anybody has to say about it. They're choosing to take care of this. Like, I feel like there's some hesitation in the beginning of this, whatever this is. But this person's stepping up to the plate. I and mean, they're ready to protect this relationship at all costs with the emperor that's Aries energy. They're realizing they have to make a choice. And ultimately, they're going to choose love. It still gives them anxiety. And I feel like they're still very nervous about this. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. We also have air energy here with the Nine of Swords. They're choosing new love with you. But, but please understand this. 
choosing this, it's not going to be easy because let's say this person, you're friends with this person or something and, you know, other people wouldn't necessarily approve or they might be jealous of the relationship or something. An ex of yours might be, might be jealous or theirs, okay? A, uh, maybe they're leaving their spouse or something. Whatever the situation, the people around the two of you are not going to be happy about this. So even though they're choosing love, they want to be with you, there's a new beginning here for the two of you. It's not going to end with that. It's not like, okay, well, they're going to leave their spouse and we're going to be together. It's going to be, it's, everything's going to be perfect. No, this part, the, you know, the people around this environment are not going to be happy about this. It's like the two of you are having to protect your relationship. You know, it's like it's it's an uphill battle. Because maybe someone was very codependent in the past. Addictions are effects in your romantic life. Maybe this person, you know, has, you know, like a very codependent karmic partner who holds on to them for money, you know, because they have children together or something. Um, it just feels like it's still plaguing the two of you. I mean, I think you guys are going to be happy together, but I feel like you both really wanted this, but people have a lot to say about it. Nobody, they don't want you to be together, okay? They may differ from your usual type and expectation. There's like people don't approve what, what the two of you are together. Well, this person's been divorced before and we don't approve of that. Or maybe they're much older than you. Or maybe you guys are friends first or something like that. Um, stay positive. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Like you're both trying to make this work. You're both bringing in stability here. Look at this. Like you're moving to a higher level of commitment with this person towards Virgo Capricorn energy. You know, but there's people who are very disappointed. And I feel like what I want to say is this. I think you're going to get what you want here, but know that... It's not going to just be a happily ever after a Cinderella story. It's one of those things where people are still going to keep, keep trying to come in and intervene. So the two of you are like having to be very, like defend this relationship and kind of distance yourself. It's giving your person a lot of anxiety or again, it could be reverse. This could be you because there's people here that are still trying to sabotage your relationship. You're really having to keep your guard up here. It's like you're trying to enjoy this, but at the end of the day, you're just like stressed out by the situation because someone doesn't want to let this go. Maybe someone's very still very codependent on their person. They're trying to win them back or something. The person's very focused on you, though. You make them happy. There could be a strong Leo energy here. You make them happy. They're holding back from the past, but the past keeps trying to come back in here and sabotage the relationship. All right, so Libra, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.